क्लासिकल इंडियन फिलोसफी स्कूल अद्वैत वेदांत इंट्रोडक्शन अद्वैत मीन्स मोनिज्म वन रियालिटी शंकराचार्य इज रिगार्डेड एज द फाउंडर ऑफ द अद्वैत वेदांत स्कूल इट वॉज ओरिजिनली नोन एज पुरुषवादा इट इज़ द ओल्डेस्ट सब स्कूल ऑफ वेदांता और उत्तर मीमांसा एंड इज़ वन ऑफ द सिक्स ऑर्थोडॉक्स स्कूल्स ऑफ इंडियन फिलोसफी इट इज़ रिगार्डेड एज एन ऑर्थोडॉक्स स्कूल बिकॉज इट एक्सेप्ट द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द वेदास एंड द वैदिक लिटरेचर द सेंट्रल प्रेमिस ऑफ अद्वैत वेदांता इज द हाइस्ट रियालिटी कॉल्ड ब्राह्मण द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आत्मा द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सेल्फ और जीवा द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ माया his conception regarding the concepts of bondage and liberation the concept of brahman according to the school ultimate reality is brahman which is nothing but pure consciousness jnana swarup or consciousness of the pure self that is swarupa jnana shankara believes that the pure self or consciousness is devoid of all attributes and all categories of intellect in other words it means the brahman is nirguna and nirvishesha in nature brahman is the paramarthika satya the absolute truth when brahman is associated with its potency that is maya it appears as qualified brahman or god in other words it appears as saguna brahman savishesha brahman or apara brahman or as ishvara god or lord who is regarded to be the creator preserver and destroyer of the world in short Brahman transcends all categories of intellect. The best way to describe Brahman can be done via negative terms. So, Brahman is neti neti or neither this nor that. The phrase neti neti negates all the characteristics of Brahman, but it does not negate Brahman itself. But even if one tries to describe Brahman in positive terms, then nothing more than this can be said that Brahman is pure consciousness or sat chit ananda that means brahman is pure existence or pure being pure consciousness and pure bliss all in one hence brahman is the paramarthika satya the absolute truth and the knowledge of the absolute truth is possible only via self inquiry the concept of atman atman is the same and brahman it is pure consciousness it is the self which is said to be self luminous it also transcends the subject object duality the sanskrit word atman means the real self the conscious self the individual the soul etc according to advaita vedanta the two concepts soul slash atman and brahman are synonym and can be used interchangeably the brahman atman relation according to shankara the atman is the same as brahman it is pure consciousness In other words atman is identical to brahman this is clearly expressed in the mahavakya thou art that or tatvam asi both self and brahman are hence one reality there is no scope for duality and diversity shankara avers he who knows the self knows brahman and he who knows brahman knows the self and becomes brahman he who knows the self becomes the self so the concept of self or atman is self proved it can never be negated because all sources of pramanas or means of knowledge are founded on it as a result shankara says that both brahman and atman are one they seem different at the empirical or the phenomenal level of reality but this difference is only an illusion at the absolute level or at the highest level of reality both of them are identical Shankara believes in jnana kanda or liberation is possible via knowledge knowledge removes ignorance which results in liberation ignorance according to him is taking both atman or soul and brahman to be different from each other on the other hand knowledge results in realizing that atman is not different from brahman simply put liberation means remo- removal of ignorance via knowledge This is his concept of bondage and liberation. Shankara repeatedly asserts that the absolute can be realized through knowledge and knowledge alone. According to him, karmas or performing of religious activities or actions and upasana are subsidiary in nature as they only help in purifying the mind, sattva shuddhi, and help us in urging us to know the reality. 
according to purva mimamsa which accepts the karma kanda liberation results from performing sacrificial rites and rituals or yagnas and via upasana or devotion towards god but according to shankara ultimately it is knowledge alone which destroys ignorance and enables us to be one with brahman or the absolute as a result shankara says that knowledge and actions are opposed like light and darkness actions or religious acts are prescribed for those who are still in ignorance and not for those who are enlightened knowledge removes ignorance and then reality shines forth by itself this state is called jivan mukti according to shankara final release or videha mukti is obtained only after the death of the body he writes just like potter's wheel goes on revolving for some time even after the push has been withdrawn similarly the body may continue to exist after attaining the knowledge or even when the knowledge has been dawned hence shankara believes in the concept of both jivan mukti and videha mukti questions number 1 shankara believes in videha mukti b jivan mukti c both videha mukti and jivan mukti d none of these the correct answer is shankara believes in both videha mukti and jivan mukti question 2 according to dash karmas or performing of religious actions in upasana are subsidiary in nature a kumarila b ramanuja c prabhakara d shankara the correct answer is shankara according to shankara karmas or performing of religious activities in upasana are subsidiary in nature as they only help in purifying the mind which he calls sattva shuddhi question 3 advaita vedanta accepts a karma kand b dhyana kand c both a and b d none of these the correct answer is dhyana kand advaita vedanta accepts dhyana kand that is liberation is possible only via knowledge alone question 4 brahman is a paramarthika satya b vyavharika satya c both a and b d saguna brahman the correct answer is paramarthika satya brahman is pure existence or pure being pure consciousness and pure bliss all in one hence brahman is paramarthika satya the absolute truth question 5 dash is also known as purushavada a purva mimamsa b uttar mimamsa c advaita vedanta d vedanta the correct answer is advaita vedanta advaita means monism or one reality shankaracharya is regarded as the founder of advaita vedanta the school was originally known as purushavada